the Kelly Barlow Creations. If you're new to my channel and you're stopping by for the first time, thank you for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. Winnie wants to play right now. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. She is staring at me. I can see it. <laughs> Hi. I love you, Winnie. Anyway, this dog, she is too much. So where was I at again? This dog, she distracts me all the time. I think I need to tell you that if you're interested in following me on social media, those links you can find in the description box below. So what do I have going on for you for today? Today I am bringing to you a breakfast cinnamon roll wreath that is perfect for that Christmas morning breakfast. This is such a fun DIY. It is so budget friendly and the outcome is amazing and it tastes delicious because it's made out of cinnamon rolls. This is one of those DIY breakfast bread wreaths that is going to be a showstopper. It is going to be a crowd pleaser. Everybody is gonna see this and think it is amazing. They're not even gonna wanna eat it, but you're gonna tell them to eat it because it's made out of cinnamon rolls and it tastes amazing. I can't wait to show you just how easily you can make a wreath made out of cinnamon rolls for your Christmas morning breakfast. Guaranteed, this is something you're gonna wanna do every year and it is, did I say it's budget friendly? It totally is. You're gonna love this. I can't wait to show you. Okay, I'm gonna quit my gabbing. Let's jump into it. Did I tell you what we're making? We're making a wreath out of cinnamon rolls. Oh, I love this. Let's get to it. Who is today's KB Creations Crafter of the Day? You'll want to stick around to the end of the video to see if it's your creation that's being featured in today's video. For this bread wreath, I'm just going to be using the Great Value brand, which is Walmart's brand of cinnamon rolls. It comes equipped with eight rolls and some icing. I'm also going to be using one of Dollar Tree's pizza trays, and I've covered it with foil, and I'm going to give it a good coating with some butter nonstick spray. And to this pizza tray, I'm going to start putting my cinnamon rolls on it and I'm going to use the tray as a form and I'm going to do it I want to say two rows thick yeah we'll say two rows and I'm just going to kind of follow along the pizza tray because this is going to be the size of my cinnamon roll wreath. I tell you, this pizza tray is the perfect size. You can see that my wreath is taking shape. Once I've done the two, I guess, rows of cinnamon rolls at the bottom, I am going to go in and do a third row right on the top, and I'm gonna do it right in the center where the two rows meet, kind of disguising, I guess, where they meet. Yeah, giving this some depth, some dimension, adding to it. Before popping my wreath in the oven, my cinnamon roll wreath that is, I am going to cover it with foil because it is on the thicker side because it's layered and it's gonna take a bit longer than the 12 minutes it would typically take for the cinnamon rolls to cook when they're being cooked individually. And I don't want my cinnamon rolls to get too brown or get too hard. I still want that softness that you get when you eat a cinnamon roll. And so to keep it from getting overcooked on top, just by simply covering it with foil, you're gonna stop it from getting too brown. Once you see that the cinnamon rolls are fairly cooked through, you can go ahead and remove the foil and let them get a bit golden brown. I did have a couple extra cinnamon rolls left over and so I thought it would be fun to make a bow, a bread bow that is, a cinnamon bread bow. And so just by unrolling the cinnamon roll itself and kind of shaping it into a bow, we're gonna make ourselves a bread bowl to top our wreath with. Every wreath needs a bow, right? Of course it does. Ah yes, I am happy with this and it's gonna expand as it bakes. I'm gonna pop both these in the oven at 350 degrees and I'm gonna start out at about 17 minutes. At 17 minutes, I'm gonna check them about every three to five minutes. Once I feel like they're good and cooked, I'm gonna go ahead and remove the foil bake them for about another five minutes, and this is what they should look like. Look at how perfectly they are cooked. Yum. While they're hot, I'm gonna take the five pouches of icing that came with them, 
and I'm gonna drizzle it over the top of it. And you wanna do this while it's hot because it's gonna help soften up that icing. It's gonna give it that glazed look and that is the look we are going for. We can't forget the bow. We're gonna wanna put the bow on here while that icing is still kind of wet because we all know that the icing from cinnamon rolls kind of hardens up and dries up. So you're gonna wanna place the bow while it's wet so that way your bow will stick to the wreath. I have some of these sprinkles here that I had on hand that I thought would be fun to add. Again, while the icing is still wet before it hardens. I'm gonna use this red cookie icing. This is one that you can get at Walmart to add color to my bow. A bow has to be red at Christmas, right? And I figured this would be the easiest way to make it red and the neatest because this icing hardens because it is made for those cookies. And so I thought this would be perfect. And like I said, you can get this icing at Walmart. I wanna say it's just about two or three dollars. And since we were making cookies anyway this year, I figured this would be perfect. I also wanted to add some holly and berries. I'm gonna use this cupcake icing by, again, great value. It has four different tips on it. And I thought this tip would be perfect for adding some holly leaves. And I'm gonna add several just to add some color, a bit of decoration, have fun with it, why not? Get creative. For the berries on my holly, I used the cookie icing, which was not the best for this because it's on the thinner side, a thicker icing would have been better, but I didn't wanna buy icing just for berries and so I'm gonna make it work. So less is more in this instance because you can see that it does run and it doesn't really keep its shape, but that's okay. And look at there, we've just made a breakfast wreath out of cinnamon rolls, but this looks messy. I'm not gonna display it this way. I went ahead and took it off of the pizza tray and added it to one of these fun party trays that you can get at Dollar Tree and look at how beautiful that looks. What a fun breakfast Danish to take to breakfast morning. I love this. This is so fun, so easy. Did I say it's budget friendly? I know I repeat myself, I can't help it. Who is today's KB Creations crafters of the day? First one's going out to Carrie, who's bringing to us her recreation of my DIY Dollar Tree Christmas tree boxed crate. Love, love, love it. We've also got Tammy, who's bringing to us her recreation of my DIY card holder. And I am loving, loving, loving the wood finish you did on the back of that, Tammy. Nicely done, thank you. And lastly, we've got Lori Utter, who is bringing to us her window Christmas paintings. Absolutely love, not one, but she did too. Oh my word, I am loving the festivities. Thank you all so much for sharing your creations with us today. Kayla's uploading today. She's got the House of Ashes gameplay going on today with her boyfriend Preston. This is part one. You'll want to head on over to her channel to watch today's video. Guess where you can find the link? Yes, in the description box below. No words, enough said. Just looking at those pictures, isn't that stinking adorable? I love this wreath. It really only took five cans of the smaller cinnamon rolls which really in actuality is under $10 because if you use Great Value brand, it's $1.88 per can. And so I think that this is a fun piece that you can take to somebody's house for breakfast on Christmas morning, or it's just something that you make early in the morning that everybody is gonna wake up to in your house smelling those cinnamon rolls. Oh my goodness, running out to see their stockings full from Santa and all their presents. Oh, I just love it. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this DIY cinnamon roll wreath. I encourage you to try it. And then when you do, make sure you snap a picture of it and send it to me so I can feature it in one of my videos as crafter of the day, because I think it would be really fun to see some of these. Please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and let's get this video to 5,000 likes, please. Because like I always say, each and every one of your thumbs up and the comments that you do leave down below, they really do help my channel to grow and it helps YouTube to notice me just a bit more. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy crafting on a budget. Happy holidays to you all. 
stay happy, stay safe, stay healthy, but most of all, stay positive, please. And bye for now, everybody. Thank you.